Hi Daniel. Hi Sarah. Long time no see. Why wow, you look different? Oh yeah. It's been a rough couple of months. So you wouldn't happen to know by any chance where I could find some good ice? Um, there's a corner store across the street. I'm sure that their ice is just fine. I didn't literally mean ice. Ice is what we call meth out here on the streets. Wow. I had no idea you did that stuff. Yeah, well things aren't going too well right now and meth is the only thing that makes me forget about my troubles. You should try some, the effects are amazing. No way. I don't mess with that stuff and neither should you. But it makes me feel good and I don't have to worry about anything. No harm has come from it. So what's the worst that could happen? A lot of things actually. Besides killing yourself or going to jail, you could get seriously hurt out here. I know what I'm doing. I'm too smart for the cops to arrest me and I'm not going to overdose. You were just being a wimp. No. Seriously using meth and other illicit drugs render substance abuse which can cause mental and physical health problems. You might not experience them now, but in the long run the adverse effects will catch up with you. Well, I guess I never thought about it like that. I didn't think I had a problem but now that you mention it maybe you're right. I have night sweats and shakes when I don't use drugs. Maybe you should get some help so that you can stop using drugs. A friend of mine had the same problem so I can give you the names of the some of the places he went for recovery. It doesn't sound easy but it wouldn't hurt to try. I want to feel great all the time. Not just when I'm high. The rehabilitation centers will help you find activities and hobbies that will keep your focus on staying sober. No one ever said it would be easy but you will have support. Thanks Daniel. No problem Sarah. Hopefully next time we meet up you will be on your way to sobriety. I hope so. Bye. Bye.